Hey y'all, let's look at lesson 19, factors. This is interesting stuff today. First off, let's say somebody walks up to you in a store and says, hey, what's the definition of a factor? You would probably say, mom, this, gonna, this guy's harassing me. Can you please call the police? But you, if he, you know, if mom was right there and she had her, like, you know, her rifle or something like that to protect you, you would say, sure, I'd be glad to answer that. It's a number that gets multiplied with another number. And the guy would say, thank you. Okay, and then your mom would, you know, put the gun down, I guess, or whatever. Okay. All right, another definition of a factor you could say, it's just a whole number that divides into another number with no remainder. So you can, you know, in other words, if you say 56, and that's going to be 8 times 7, that, that multiplies perfectly together, there is no remainder, and that's a factor. Okay, so let's look at a couple of things. Uh, let's look at, first off, factors of 20. Now this is, I have to emphasize this, this is why when your mom and dad told you, you need to learn your times tables as fast as you can, you know, you don't get any dinner unless you get your times table. Okay. And, you know, if you ended up not eating for two or three weeks because you didn't know your times tables, they were right to do that. Now, you, you should know these as lightning fast as possible. I'm telling you, it's going to save you misery. So if you don't feel like you're great at it, man, you better be doing these um, warm-ups. Better be doing extra practice on the ones you know. I mean, I mean, you don't know, like, your sevens or your eights or sixes or something like that. Um, but make sure you know these really well. And the division tables, too, because it'll kill you if you don't. And again, I think I've said it, but like the stuff about algebra and geometry and trigonometry, man, the stuff that gets kids is not the formulas and X's and all that jazz. It's the, it's the not knowing your times tables and not knowing your division tables and not being good with fractions and decimals and all that stuff. So anyway, factors of 20, in other words, what numbers go into 20 evenly? Well, obviously one in 20, right? Well, in other words, another a couple of four and five, and then of course two and ten, and that's it, right? You could probably put them in order from least to greatest if you want to do whatever. So that's a list of the factors of twenty. All right, name the whole numbers that are factors of thirty. Okay, well, uh, whole numbers we're talking about, you know, zero and ab above zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. Not integers, because we don't want, we don't want to get into negative numbers, right? Because integers include negative numbers. All right. Factors of 30, again, we're talking about, obviously, 1 and 30. Then it's an even number, so 2 and 15. 3 and 10 is another set. Can you think of the last set? It's 5 and 6. There we go. Okay, those are all the factors of 30. So that's an important thing to be able to know to, to do what we're going to do this year. Okay, name the factors of 1. Well... Okay, let's talk about, we're talking about prime numbers, okay? A prime number basically is a number that is only divided, divisible by itself and one. Now, let's go, the factors of one, obviously one and one. Two, or one and two. Three, one and three, okay? So, four, oh, that's one and four, but also two and two, right? Five is only one and five. Six is one and six, but also two and three, right? Seven is only one and seven. Oh, eight is one and eight. Oh, wait a second. And then we got two and four, right, as well. So nine is just one and nine. Oh, we got three and three, right? And we got 10 is one and 10, or maybe two and five. So in other words, prime numbers we're looking at are the ones that only have uh, themselves and one as a factor, okay? And one is not considered a prime number. Two is the one a two and above, or numerals that are above that, are considered prime numbers that only have a factor, again, of themselves and one. So that's a prime number, this is a prime number, that's a prime number, and that's, that's it, at least from one to ten. Of course, there's more, many, infinite number. All right, the first four prime numbers are two, three, five, and seven. We just saw that a second ago. What are the next five prime numbers? Well, we already know eight, nine, and ten aren't. Is eleven a prime number? Can you think of any other factors of 11 besides 1 and 11? No. That's a prime number. 12 is an even number. So from now on, we can cross out all the even numbers. They'll always be divisible by 2, right? So you can forget all of this stuff. So is 13 a prime number? Yep. Just 13 and 1. 15? No. That's 1 and 15, of course, but it's also 3 and 5. So nope, not that either. 17? No other factors. So that's going to be that. Ooh. 19? Yep, that's a prime number as well, just 1 and 19. Is 21 a prime number? 
No, because it's three times seven. Boom, there we go. And 23 is a prime number. So there we go, okay. All right, those are prime numbers. So make sure, again, like you know your times tables and your division tables. When somebody says to you 84 divided by 12, you should say seven immediately. If somebody says to you, uh, you know, um, 72 divided by six, you should say 12 immediately. It should be immediate. You should know those really well. It's gonna save you a lot of time doing these. Um, so anyway, okay, let's look at the practice set. And that practice set has some goodies on there. So that is on page 97. And uh, go ahead and do A and pause it. Okay, there's A, one, two, of course, seven and 14. I put these all in uh, um, order, least to greatest. Okay, pause and try B. Okay, one and five, three, and 15, there we go. Pause it and try C. Okay, C had a few more there. One times 16, two times eight, and then of course four times four. You just have to put it one time if you want to. All right, pause it and try D. Well, D is easy. One and 17, that's it. All right, let's try uh, E, F, and G. Let's do, go ahead and do all three of those. Then we'll do, D, we'll do um, E, F, and G all together. So pause it and do E, F, and G. Okay, E, just 23, F, just 31, and J, just 43. Now, you know, uh, 33 in J is 11 times 3. 51, you might have thought, what, 51? But that's actually 3 times 17. Okay. Excuse me, I'm, go I'm getting ahead of myself. My bad, I just, I just blew it. Anyway, <laughs> okay, we'll try H, I, and J anyway. So try those three. Okay, let's go to H. That's only 42 is not a prime number because it's, a, it's an even number. So 21 times two is at least some of the factors. For I, it's 51. Like I said before, I blew that one. Three times 17, you might have said, what? You know, but it's three times 17. Um, J, the only one is 33. That's 11 times three. So, all right, uh, let's go K and L together. So pause it and do K and L. Okay, K, we're gonna go two times two times two times two. Now sometimes it's a very handy um, skill to have is to break down something they call a composite number because it's composed of a bunch of other prime numbers into all the prime factors. So K, you could, of course you could say it's, it's two times eight, or of course you could say it's four times four. But what you're gonna do is practice doing, breaking down a number like 16 into all its prime factors. Only the, only the ones that can't be broken down anymore. Well, two is a prime number, right? So two times two times two times two is 16. That's what you want to do. Now, if you didn't quite get that, pause it again and do the same thing to L. But if not, we'll, we can talk about it. But. Okay, 18, same thing, right? You don't want to write, oh, the, the factors of this are six times three. Oh, nine times two. Because all you want to have left in your group, like that one, is just the prime number. Don't forget the dot means multiply, okay? So this is two times three times three. We chose that because two and three are both prime numbers. You can't break those down anymore. You don't wanna say nine times two, because that way like nine you can break into three and three, right? Or you don't wanna say uh, six times three is 18, because six you can break down to two times three. So you don't want that. Okay, so that is prime numbers and all that kind of factoring. Have fun with that today, do a good job, and I will see you tomorrow. We do lesson 20. See ya.